know, just started out this day. It's going good so far. We already hooked the juvenile Goliath. And what'd you catch there, Cuzzo? Quite a nice little redfish. Decent redfish, just over slot, right? Yep, keeper. Keeper, keeper fish. Nice Spanish Mac in the boat. We just released, we just released another redfish and snook. Redfish was under by one inch. But we got a keeper Spanish mackerel. Spanish mackerels need to be 12 inches, and this one sat right at 18. Let me see him, cousin. That's a nice one. Look at the teeth on that. Look at the teeth on that. I didn't even know they had teeth. Awesome. Now let's get a pick. On them, cuz. What is it? What is it? Oh, nice snooky. Bring them on up. Oh, that's a Spanish mac, ain't it? Nah, it's a snook, it's a snook, it's good. Yep, bring them on in. That's good. Alright, you can hold that and I'll get this out for you. Nice, flipping out the Danko's real quick. There you go, buddy. You wanna hold them or you good? Still busting up out there. You just say you gotta take a pick? Yeah. There you go, I got you on the GoPro. Hold him out, he's gonna, gonna go berserk. Oh yeah, nice fish, cuz. Let's get a release. Underwater, okay. Underwater, man. Reds in the box, just got another slot red. We're gonna let this thing go. And I just realized this is a spotless red. It's pretty rare. Spotless red, spotless reds are a pretty rare catch because they use it as a as a predator predator distracting type mechanism because when they're little fish the predators will attack the tail thinking that the, the dot on the tail is the eye so this red being that it has no spots means that it had a less chance of surviving and and who am I to fillet it right Good day on the water, good day on the water. Uh, a couple slot reds, slot mackerels, a juvenile Goliath grouper, snappers, jack, ladyfish, the usual there, but it's overall good day, four hour day, got out at 7.30, got in at, getting in here at 11.30. Pretty good, pretty good.